for this? Spirit of Power, your time to fly. We're gonna be using the fully powered Phantom Sword to deal with him. Starting off this fight, he just kind of makes fun of you by going in your direction and launching poison at you that has its own eyeballs. I have to know the answer to this. Yes, the hammer does deal with them. I was right when I said the hammer was a match for his power. He's got these poison blotches on his body. We want to do him a service and clean him off, and as a way of giving his thanks, he will allow us to maim him, because it's the thing that we want the most and the only way he can thank us. And come on, whoa! Uh, barely hitting him, barely hitting him, barely hitting him. Uh, wow, that actually didn't do that much damage though, but let's hit him around a little bit more. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. And that's that, cycle number one. How fitting for him to live in a pool of poison with how he drains the life from people. It's a uh, very good theming there. We're gonna go up now. Very large battle arena that we have to fight him in. It seems to span multiple floors of the Temple of the Ocean King. And now, archery. They're giant eyeballs, it's a giant enemy, you know what to do. Surprising that it took this long for this trope to really show up in a traditional sense after how creative the boss fight designed around the arrows was. Uh, oh, no, 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 you are not dealing with me. Hit you. And that's all of them. Down we go. Okay, before we get too deep into the excitement of this battle, I have to get this out of the way. Bellum is a cool boss fight. He's a disappointing villain. I'm happy to be showing this boss fight to you here today, and I'm excited to play it, but Zelda so rarely gets new bad guys, and he was such a good opportunity. After Oceus talked him up to be this menacing thing that ate the life force of others, and he had this vague appearance of this evil eyeball that really stuck out in your mind. He could have been an interesting and memorable bad guy, but he isn't. He's not a fascinating bad guy that you don't get to know much about, or an entity that has a lot of interesting lore surrounding him. He's just here, and I felt like I needed to get that off my chest. Go away, please. I need to... I need to clean off your master. I know, he loves being dirty very much. He is a very dirty boy. I, I, I for one, appreciate that about him, that he's very stick to itiveness. Get him over. Attack with a great spin attack. Mess him up! Hit him, hit him, hit him! I like how I just gave him a personality. <laughs> Going upstairs, gonna be ready for him this time. He's launching enemies at us from pretty much anywhere in the field now. Watch the ceiling to see where they're gonna be dropping down from. Thankfully, they don't hurt you right away. We're gonna switch on the arrows. And this time, his eyes are not open constantly. You gotta wait for certain eyes to be open. Shoot those, get them all taken off so he can't stick to the sides. Even though he's perfectly capable of flying, I'm not sure why he suddenly can't stay up here anymore once you have shot all of his tentacles down. No, move out of the way of that. Just gotta keep watching up. Gotta keep moving. And then we got... Here he's slamming him down. As long as you stay behind the pillars, he really won't be able to hurt you. And I... Looks like we got two left. That's gonna be one. Oh no, is there, is there two now? No, okay, here we go. There it is. And he closes it right in time. <laughs> waiting for you. I see you. I know you see me. Now you don't anymore because I shot you in the eye. How do you like that? And now we have to do the whole song and dance again, one floor higher. Here are you. Ready for you. As we go up to take him down one more time, Bellum has been foreshadowed throughout our entire journey. We did get to see what his eyes look like from Osha's account of his attacker. But Octoroks have been a very big theme throughout this adventure. Whenever we've gotten to see what the uh, ocean is like underwater, it's been chock full of Octomines, these deadly looking Octorok like creatures. There's Octoroks out at the sea, they're just everywhere, and they seem to be offspring of Bellum looking very similar to him. Those taken care of, I'm gonna spin attack you guys to deal with you quickly in one fell swoop. Just because you're getting kind of annoying, and I need more supplies. Really like some hearts right about now, but beggars can't be choosers. You done? You gonna stick on again? Yes, you are, even though you were just flying with no trouble. Unless it got tiring. I answer my own questions! Ready for you? Oh, nope. Was not ready on my aim. That one's 
gonna close its eye in a second. Okay, there. Let's go for this one. Go! Getting out of the way! Going over here. Can't hurt me behind the pillars, so I guess I don't really need to do any dodging. And hopefully this will be the last one. There it is! What is that? He just spit something out. Ew, why? I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. Reminds me of another time. Eek! What was that? I, it feels so strange. I, I wonder what that was. Ciela. Grandpa? That is the memory you lost. Long ago, Bellum attacked you, stealing your power and memories. Now those memories have surfaced. You have them back! Ah. Uh, I remember. I remember it all now. I'm Ciela, the spirit of time and courage. I finally remember everything! All right, Ciela. Now is the time to deliver the final blow to Bellum. That monster still lives. To perform the last step, Ciela, I think you know what you need to do next. Yeah, leave it to me. Let's go, Link. Got my memory back. Soon you'll see what I can really do. It's hard to predict his wild movements, but it's okay. With me at your side, you can take on any enemy. And as long as I trust my true power to the Phantom Hourglass, you have the ability to stop time. First, focus your power on the hourglass with the Phantom Sphere I release. Each Phantom Sphere has the ability to stop time just once. The hourglass icon will appear at the bottom of the screen. Touch that. And draw the shape of the Phantom Hourglass, a figure eight. Time will stop. It just hit me. Ciela's character arc is seriously coming to a conclusion where they're explaining something for the first time and having it be something really cool. There we go. You did it, you stopped time. I'll do my best to create the next Phantom Sphere as fast as I can. Hang in there. We just gotta survive, dodge his attacks, be better than him. Phantom Sphere is done, take it. Oh, okay, you gonna wait. Gonna wait for you to come over. Gotta wait until he's really close before we do this. Nope. It's really tough, you have to do it in, with a, a lot of precision. And fast. It is possible by combining the great spin attack with Leaf's true power to beat Bellum in two cycles, as we have done. Look out, the ceiling is cracking, Link. The exit is still blocked. What do we do? <laughs> hey, old man. Uh Come look at this for a second. Old man. Oof, ouch, what's going on? Look who it is, falling out of the sky on my head. Work on where you teleport, people, old man! So the one that got us out of the temple... That was you, Grandpa? Yes, it was me. The two of you have done well. It's not gone, but the seal holding me is weakening. My power was restored enough to bring you here. Hey, kid! Wake up and look at this, Link! <gasps> 
Tetra's going to be okay. Right, Grandpa? Ha! <laughs> Very well done, Link. After you slew Bellum, I used some of my power and focused it on Tetra. It seems to have worked. She is recovering nicely. I think she will be fine. It seems you have done it, Link. I owe you a big thanks, Link. Since I got on that ghost ship, I've been dreaming. I know that you saved me, Link. I saw everything. Oh, phew, looks like you're going to be fine. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for saving me, Ciela. Oh, no, no, I, I didn't do a thing. It was all Link. Thank you too, Linebeck. I'm grateful for everything. Oh no, it was nothing, really. Pretty standard. No way was I gonna let these two go it alone. It was too dangerous. I had to step in and help out. What are you talking about? You left all the dangerous stuff to Link. I don't know. Oh no, everyone, outside! <laughs> what is that monster? That's Bellum. But how? I thought we defeated him. Look, look at Tetra! So he was still alive. So that is why my power isn't fully restored. Squiddy thing is getting away! Possess the ghost ship? We have to chase after him. I'll take the wheel! Prepare to man the cannon, Link! Full steam ahead! Wahoo! We know what to do. We see giant eyeball. We shoot it! Fire a salvo of those eyeballs, kid! Fire, fire, fire! Wow, we're just wrecking him really quickly. He will attack back. You do have to deal with the splotches that are coming your way, the pink ones. We have seven heart containers, though. We should be able to outlast him pretty well. That one? Keep taking out the eyeballs. Get hearts from destroying the cannonballs that Elon does at you. Looking you good so far, Link. Keep it up. Linebeck is speaking very fast, but I saw him say, you're almost as amazing as me, kid. Even in the darkest of times, he still finds a way to pat himself on the back. I'll give him props, though. He finally learned how to drive his own boat. I didn't have to direct him by drawing on the map where I wanted to go. So maybe he is doing good work for the very first time. Took him long enough. We've got the back pretty well cleared off. Once you've gotten him taken out of the map, they stay down. He goes around in a V-shape along the back, so now we're going to go up the right. We're going to be able to take those out. If we can get this side cleared off on this cycle, we should be pretty good. 
We're not that low on health. Yeah, we just got some more health right there. As long as you stay on top of the pink cannonballs that he's launching at you, it's not the hardest fight ever. Shouldn't be that bad. The ones in the middle are also starting to rear up so we can start taking out those. Wait, it's a monster. You don't say, Lineback. I'd make fun of you, but I think you're just trying to make me chuckle in a time of adversity, and I appreciate you. Pretty good, kid. And now we got these three in the middle. We gotta deal with those. That's all of them. Had enough punishment from the SS Lineback. Okay, let's climb aboard. But wait, before you do that, this will be dangerous. Shouldn't you say first, uh... <laughs> now that you've taken precautions and saved, let's climb aboard! <gasps> Look, it's Tetra Lake. Blink. Wake up! Hurry up already, Link! Link! Go of me, monster! combination of Bellum, Lineback, and Phantom Armor is known as Bellumback. This is not an, a fan term or anything. This is the only time that the boss's name is not displayed on screen explicitly, but there is text intended for this purpose. Ciela is helping out spawning in Phantom Orbs, and you stop time, go around to his back, and find it's not going to be that simple. What about his weak spot? His eye! I stop time and everything. That eye has to open at some point. All right. I'll move his back to the top screen. Hey, I see it, I can see it. Hey Link, look at the top screen. His eye is open, all right, the fed, whoa, oof. Whoa. Got me. Sorry Link, don't worry about me. We're just gonna have to fight him off without her. You rub, and then you attack his belly? Hey, his tentacles, losing his grip on me. Now is the time for a phantom sphere. You have to free Ciela enough that she can help you out with a Phantom Sphere. And by looking at the top screen, see when his weak point shows its ugly face. Time you want to. Just gotta study. Oh, he's dodging to the side. Whoa, here we go. Come on. Oh, no! Didn't do it quite fast enough. It's a tight window of time. Even with the ability to stop time, it does not always come easy. You just gotta get him into the sword clashes. Be ready for him when he dodges to the side. Nope. Come on. Hit him again. You ready for the dodge? No. No. I need a potion right now. Yes. 
Been saving this for a long time. Bought it months ago. Hopefully it hasn't gone bad by this point. We look good. We feel good after that potion. Let's do better. You need to not quite spam it because, yeah, if you do the combo ender right there and you're left wide open, you can't quite make it over. It's a very tight window. I'm getting whipped here. Jeez. There we go. Barely did it. Rub and attack. There is that phantom orb. You're ready to use it. For it. After just so many intense fights that are solid gold, just utter aces these boss fights are, we have this, where we have two views going on at the same time of the same boss. Using that to our advantage, Link and Cielo working together as a team. It's been incredible on this journey, seeing everyone's reactions to how your tutorial fairy, essentially, gets more powers throughout the travels. How she gets more powerful. She gets a new item, even, in one of the later dungeons. And she becomes so much stronger, gaining all these capabilities that make you feel like you're working together as a team. It's such a cool idea, and it's fully realized here at the end with one of the coolest fights. These... There's a lot I could say that's negative. I definitely could about a lot of other things. This fight ain't one of them. It's an incredible note to go out on. The atmosphere is perfect. This thing is awesome. It's hard, but you can stop his spin attack with your own. We take him out, we get another Phantom Orb, but the timing is very tight on that. I can't believe I got that in one try. Come on. He's coming over. He's coming again. Oh no, he's not. Uh, go ahead, hurry. Leaf, give me your power. Yeesh. Ouch. What's going on here? I thought... Are you okay, Linebeck? You were possessed by Bellum. What? Oh, that's right. I uh, think... I remember something about Link. Oh, kid. I mean, Link. I'm sorry. I know I was possessed by that monster. But to think that I... Shush, Linebeck. If you hadn't stood up to Bellum when you did, who knows what might have happened to us? Well, I guess I got caught up in the moment. What? It's not like you. Are you sure you're lying back? My ship just took a little... damage. Grandpa.
And Ciela, I have returned to my true form. For that, I thank you. What? Whoa! Old man, is that you? I never would have guessed you really looked like that. If not for you, I'd have been sealed up forever. This sea would have fallen into desolation and evil. You saved me and the great sea. Thank you. Linebeck? What, who, me? I have to make good on a promise I made to you. I grant you one wish. What is it? Come on, say it. You want a treasure, don't you? Just ask. No, that's not it at all. I don't need treasures anymore, I think. Well, I guess if I have to. If you insist, can you bring back my ship? The one that sank? What? That's it? You know, even if you ask for treasure later, that's it. That's enough from you, Sparkles. You've always got to get the last word, don't you? The sand of ours is returned in peace rain. The ghost ship will no longer haunt your world. Our world? So what is the world that we are in now? What is this place? The time for you to return to your world is near. The door to your world is about to open. We are inhabitants of this world. We must return to the world of the Ocean King. Thanks, Link. And you too, Linebeck. Your courage will not be forgotten. Oh, well, thank goodness, Linebeck. Now I don't have to look at you any longer. I was getting tired of seeing you all the time. <sighs> That's my line. Get out of here. Good riddance. Well, I'm leaving now. Thanks, Linebeck. I'd like to stay with you, Link. But I'm a spirit. I serve the Ocean King. Now we have to say goodbye. Thanks, Link. That's The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. It's been an interesting ride is what I will call it. <laughs> I hope I have shown you that this game is not all bad. I definitely have complaints with it. I think a lot of the things people say about it are warranted, but when it has its highs, it has its very high highs. Incredible boss fights. When the soundtrack tries, it turns out some really big hits. Definitely listen to those final boss themes if you weren't listening closely already, because they are definitely worth your time. I like the big expansive world and all there is to do in it. They definitely made a clear effort to make the sailing more interesting than it was in Wind Waker. It does do a lot of things very well. Heck, God, there's the awesome boss fights right there. The one on the right especially I have to give high praise to. There's some interesting puzzles. I like how it makes full use of all of the DS's capabilities. It's 
kind of a time disconnected from our own right now, where every game system is just kind of a black box that does all the same things as all the other black boxes. Back then, they did all sorts of wacky stuff like stick a microphone on the controller and make you have to, you know, shout capitalism into it to get a good deal. <laughs> it's a very wacky, di different kind of Zelda game that isn't quite like any other, and I think it is worth a playthrough. Just in kind of showing all the interesting things about it that I'm sure a lot of people who gave up on it early never saw, that was one of the big driving factors behind me wanting to make this. There's a lot worth seeing here. There's a lot of just wow, what the heck moments when you figure out certain puzzles, and it's a very creative game, I think is the way that I would put it. In putting this to a close, I'd like to thank Maryland for being a repeated test audience before pushing a lot of videos out to you. Zelda Universe for just being very supportive, always being there, and having lots of hilarious fine staff that are always great to work with. Zelda Dungeon for being a great resource when doing research for this project, because there's not a whole lot of information out there about Phantom Hourglass, and a lot of guides are bad, but there's had some pretty good information. And of course, thank you for watching. Oh! Hey! Linebeck disappeared. And the ghost ship is back. What's going on? So you were okay all along. I was worried when I heard all that screaming, but you look fine. What about the ghost ship? Was there treasure aboard? What are you talking about? I was almost frozen forever on that thing. Link saved me. You wouldn't believe what he went through. Do you understand what we've been through? Where were you? Did you even look for us? What are you talking about? You were only on that ship. It's only been about 10 minutes. minutes? You gotta be kidding! Do you know what we have been through? I have no idea what you're talking about. How could I? It was probably a bad dream. You're not listening! It was longer than 10 minutes, I'm telling you! Huh? That ghost ship is really, really dangerous! It's not there anymore. you it wasn't a dream. Guys, never listen.
see you back here next time for the bonus video where we go over everything we have not seen. And then after that, for the multiplayer mode of Phantom Hourglass. And then, for the birth of a franchise we have not seen here before. I really want to get some people to try this one out. See you guys then. Link, I think she's hard for you.